Need for Speed Heat is dead. Drop me intro, yeah, man. Backside. <laughs> people what is going on it's your boy nick the otaku here representing the ja anarchy as always so as you guys may know today is june 9th and with june 9th there came a big 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 announcement from me for speed on instagram twitter and i'm not sure on facebook who the hell uses facebook in 2020 but anyways big big announcement on all social platforms for need for speed so basically they were dropping the last update for need for speed heat today and when the update dropped i was like okay so finally i gonna get the complete overhaul that we need for need for speed because let's be honest here this game is dead it's completely dead People own, like people who play it is like people who are coming online with their friends, people who just want to just get on the game and basically just have fun with their friends. That's it. Like there's nothing else, there's no content after you beat the story. The DLC is only two cars. The McLaren F1 and the Aston Martin that nobody gives a shit about. Like we don't care about the Aston Martin, like the car control like a boat. Who need that shit? The biggest disappointment of all time. Imagine you buy this game in 2019. You pre order it. Deluxe edition. You pay about $79 for this game. Usual shit. And then on top of that, you get like a little cash boost. Not bad. Not great at the same time. And then only to wait six, seven, eight months. No additional content after beating the game no dlc after beating the game and most importantly no speed list how can you have a game that you want to be a freaking live service in 2020 because the game dropped in 20, 2019 but we all know that they this basically is gonna be the game to hold us off um until the next need for speed in 2021 because that's how the games are gonna be released at the day we will get a brand new need for speed so why is it that we haven't like we we this is an incomplete game like every need for speed game from back in the days always had something if it did not have a long story it had some additional challenges after the story remember back in need for speed most wanted and carbon days we had challenge series right and then Pro Street came around. Pro Street sorry, was extremely long. There were multiple race brackets that we had to go through that had nothing to do with the story. Long, right? And then there came around speed lists and all of that good stuff, DLC and additional content that was added in Need for Speed 2015 thanks to Ghost Games. I think Need for Speed 2015 is a much more fleshed out game as it regards to content than Need for Speed Heat. Need for Speed Heat is droughted. Droughted out of content. Yo, there is no content. Yeah, they add friggin' cross platform. So now everybody on Xbox, PC can join in with everybody on PlayStation. Oh, and Steam as well. So Steam Origin and if you guys have like another third party that I don't know about, you guys can join in as well. So basically that's what they're going for but what would be the point of class cross platform if you don't have a rank system you're basically just a drive around for nothing reason like you're just, you're just a drive around for no reason like what me are right now i'm just a drive around and I talk there's no purpose to it the only purpose right now is me just ranting so the point of the matter is that need for speed heat is dead thanks to ea ea oh no 
fuck up again. I'm mean, gonna business of the money. If the, if the, if duty want demonetize video or or flag my video because of that, but EA fucked up again. I mean, say it again. EA fucked up again. You have a freaking gold mine. Need for Speed Heat is a gold mine. It has the graphics. It has the handling. It has the good carless. It has the good story. It has so much potential. And the only fucking thing you guys do is freaking add two fucking car. One of them you have to pay for for five dollar, and the other one a shit because why? It's free, so why not give them the shit car for free, right? What's a shit car for free? And then no speed list, no DLC cars, no additional DLC cars, no additional story. Look at the size of this freaking map. Look at this map. The map is huge. Look at all this. Look at this area over here. Look at all of this area. This is unused area. Unused content. Unused. Unused. Look up here, sir. Unused. Why is it that we don't have some additional DLC like... What if um Eddie from Underground come back theme Skyline East Siders return? What if um Razor finally make him return? Because we all know Sir Razor going to be coming is coming back eventually down the line. If you've been following up the, the lore in for Speed, Razor is coming back, Ryan Cooper is coming back, or Ryan Cooper is somewhere in the universe. Zin? And then Panta about that now, EA decide to close ghost games. EA closes ghost games and hands over Need for Speed back to Criterion. When you hear about Criterion, what you hear about? What, what comes to mind? Oh, Need for Speed most wanted 2012. Need for Speed Rivals. Boosting! We all know how those went down. Literally, Need for Speed was dying at that point. Ghost Games was the one that resurrected it with friggin' Need for Speed 2015. So why the fuck EA decides that, oh, let's disband Ghost Games and give it to Criterion. The fuck, me no want Criterion take over this shit. Why should Criterion take over friggin' Need for Speed? Them only just going fuck it up again and make a friggin' burnout Need for Speed when nobody no want. Like, come on, we don't want burnout style need for speed like really we don't want that criterion if you go make a new burnout don't get me wrong me nah hate upon the burnout series and i like burnout burnout 3 take was my favorite like one of my favorite racers in on playstation 2 i still actually have that disc there i still have it and it still holds up to this day but this is need for speed this is completely different this is different than burnout this is not about crashing cars and making jumps. I mean, yeah, they put jumps in this game, but not the jumps like that are in Burnout. I mean, come on. Like, honestly, EA really let me know. I, I am probably the only Anarchy member because Crazy Ripper knows say EA let him down a long time. Arsenal Kid, who is basically the FIFA addict in the group, like, he cuss about EA all the time. He cuss about EA frig up. FIFA, him cause about EA free got Mass Effect, him cause about EA free got Star Wars Battlefront, him cause about EA free got basically all of the other game them. Not to mention Shadow, I'm not even going to go on Shadow level right now. But it really needs to stop. I don't want to see a repeat of Need for Speed Rivals. That is basically Battlefield with cars. I don't want that. I don't want that. Drifting! Airtime! I don't want none of that. None of that. So, you can't believe that like, Need for Speed Heat actually dead. Like, really, I was really looking forward to this game having speed list and be able to basically trash everybody with my cars, and I can't do that. So, like, me really, it, it really hurt me. Like, me really upset. Like, I can't hear it in another voice. In my voice, this is the first time I actually come. Like, a cuss. <laughs> A company whom look up to for years, I'm always, no matter what them, they're gonna put on EA. But EA crossed the line. I look forward to, to Need for Speed 2021. I look forward to the next game. And when the next game come out, I now freaking buy it. I'm not buying it. I'm not going to pre order it. And if, until, you see, the only way they're gonna get me for pre order the next game, well, for buy the next game, is if few things. Number one, the game is like Need for Speed Heat basically 
but better story. Zane. Number two, they're speedless. Number three, we actually go and get support. Zane. If we not have them three things, eh, there is no point in another need for speed. And if I saw it, I go go. I think me for speed I got dead completely the series as a series go dead and honestly me no one need for speed for dead because me personally I've played all of the need for speeds maybe not all of them to completion but I've played all of the need for speeds from the original road and track need for speed so I actually have an um, emotional attachment to this game this gaming series so the fact that I said them really mess it up to this point, it really there, it really mess with me. Like it's a big letdown. As a gamer, as a person, like big big letdown. The only thing EA after I go for them right now are basically Apex Legends. And the only reason why <laughs> them have Apex Legends are because of respawn entertainment. But who knows, maybe them them fuck respawn entertainment up there are same way, just like how them fuck ghost games same way why for that but yeah a EA them eventually then go fuck everybody in a damn company right but anyways yo it is what it is like my plan for do a lot of other videos but eventually me can't do them so ah oh boy need for speed heat it really sad enough of we did a hope for say the super return and Probably some additional story, probably some off road races for the additional parts of the map I'm showing you just now. But we ain't getting none of that. We ain't getting shit. We ain't getting shit. It's the end of Need for Speed Heat as a live service. If you don't have the game yet and you're just getting it with a, with a few friends, that's fine. You guys can play it, enjoy it. It has great handling and good amount of cars. Trust me, the story is good. Short but sweet. But in the long run, basically after they beat the story, there's nothing else there. There's no point in night time because the level cap is level 50. I remember when they raised the level cap from Nifa C 2015 from 50 to 70. Why them can't do it to this? Come on. But anyways, yo. I'm going to end the video right here, so. Thanks again for those who actually stick and listen to me run throughout this video. Again, it's your boy Nick the Attack who represent the, you know, the J A Anarchy. So look out for some new content. Hopefully during this week, I started to compile videos but haven't finished it yet. But yeah, that's it. I'ma sign out, guys. Peace, respect, stay safe. Remember, Black Lives Matter and all lives matter. Keep your family safe. Keep yourself safe. Watch your back out there. I'm out.